Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to delete product. So let's see how can we delete the product. So switch to the project and uh, first of all open the admin component class file. So for that just go inside the app directory, then HTTP, live wire, admin and from here just open admin product component.php file. Okay. And inside this file, uh, let's create a function for deleting the product. So after this, just add here public function and function name. Uh, let's say function name is delete product. And inside the, inside this function, let's pass here a parameter, an argument, which is id. And now let's fetch the product according to the id so right here product is equal to model product colon colon uh, call here the find function and inside this method just pass here the id dollar id okay this one and now just call here the delete function product arrow delete all right and uh, Plus a message so inside the session add here the session and call the plus method add the message as a key and just type here the message product has been deleted successfully all right and now save this file and now open the admin product component view file so for that just go inside the, the resources directory then views uh, live wire admin and from here just open admin product component or blade.php file all right and inside this file inside this table uh, you can see here this is the edit link so after the edit link uh, let's Create a link for the delete product. Okay, so just write the anchor tag href and simply add here the hash sign. Then uh, close the anchor tag and inside this, uh, just write here i i tag class if if times. Okay. And increase the font awesome size so right here f8 as 2x all right and also add here the text color red uh, so simply write here text dash danger okay now just close the i tag and uh, also set here the margin uh, inside this anchor tag just add here the style margin left 10 pixels okay and now uh, let's call this delete function delete product function on click event so inside this anchor tag uh, right here via colon uh, click dot prevent is equal to this function delete product so just copy this function name and uh, uh, first add a double curly bracket then paste here the function name and uh, uh, sorry just remove dou double curly bracket well let's paste here the function name delete product and uh, inside the delete product function pass here the product id so first add here the parenthesis then double curly bracket and uh, just pass here product arrow id all right okay and now let's print the message so uh, uh, before the table uh, just add here uh, first to check the session message key so add here the if directive if session add uh, message key uh, right here message and uh, Close the if directive in if and inside this if directive uh, 
simply uh, print here the alert message so just write here div class class is equal to alert alert subtrace and uh, role role is equal to alert and inside this alert div uh, simply print here the message so I'll give the special value message value so right here session column column get message all right now save this file now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and uh, refresh the page and uh, here you can see the delete link okay now let's delete the uh, delete any product i'm just going to delete last product uh, this product okay so just click on this link and you can see here product has been deleted successfully okay and here you can see the number of record 23 okay let's delete uh, this one this product so just click on this and you can see here the number of product 22 and you can see here the message product has been deleted successfully all right so in this way you can delete product so that's all about delete product so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching